Assalamualaikum and hi. For our group project, we have done an analysis of customer buying behavior for MPH Bookstore as they want to hold a book festival in August. So, without further ado, let's start. In this presentation consists of six parts, which is the first one is about the project, second, descriptive analysis, third, data visualization, fourth, t-test analysis, fifth, regression analysis, and the last one is overall conclusion for this project. Hello everyone, I'm Nurul Safar and I will start with the introduction. MPH Group Mrs. Lebahar is a Malaysian company that focuses in selling books and online retailing as well as book printing, publishing and distribution as well as library service in Malaysia and Singapore. MPH Bookstore Lebahar, based in Petaling Jaya, Selangor, is one of the major major book searches after popular. This year will mark their 20 years of being a wholly Malaysian-owned company since 2002. As a way to celebrate this occasion and to appreciate their loyal customer, MPH plan to hold one of the biggest book festivals ever this year in certain state as well as an online website too. However, they are unsure which state they should prioritize, when and what type of book should they bring more into the festival in order to maximize their revenue. With this question in mind, we decide to construct a predictive sales analysis. So, let's begin our predictive sales analysis. Next part is about project objective. There are four objectives of this project which are Increase sales One of the most important objectives of this project is to improve their sales. MPH can maximize their sales and revenue during the festival by knowing all the important variables such as when is the best time to hold the festival, what type of book customer usually buy, and customer usually prefer shopping online or in store. The second objective is marketing campaign planning. Based on the result of the questionnaire, MPH will plan the marketing campaign needed in order to boost the sale of the book festival. For example, if the majority of their customer is a bachelor degree student, MPH will provide a special discount code in order to encourage the student to buy more. The third objective is predicting customer behavior. The analysis conducted will help MPH to predict their customer buying behavior, which will help in determine the structure of the book festival. For example, if the majority of the customer tend to buy books at the end of the month, MPH will match the schedule by conducting the festival at the end of the month too. The last objective is risk management. This analysis also will make MPH plan for a better risk management. If the customer tend to buy more self-help book compared to children book, putting more children book instead of more titles of self-help book will probably result in loss. The objective of this project is it will help MPH in making more accurate planning decisions that will benefit both consumers and the company. The next part is about questionnaire development. This is the question list that we have come up with. There are two sections. Section A is about the demographic of the respondent which contains four questions. As you can see here, the four question is about gender, age, highest level of formal education and the state that they are currently staying. Meanwhile, section B is about the book purchasing behavior which contains five questions as you can see here. This is a multiple choice online survey which we conduct using Google Form and blast in a book community social media for one week before we decide to close it. We managed to collect 153 respondents for the online survey. The next part is about hypothesis development. In this section, we will formulate a hypothesis for our predictive sales analysis. Hypotheses are frequently explicit prediction of what will occur in a certain research. We need to formulate a few hypotheses and study the result before we can develop the theory for study. As MPH is planning the biggest book festival ever this year, we decide to formulate a few hypotheses regarding the gender, educational level, age, how many books they buy per month that will help them in planning the event. The first hypothesis is does the number of females that buy books are the same with male? The null hypothesis is the number of females is the same with male, while the alternative hypothesis is the number of females are not the same with male. The second hypothesis is all age group males are equal or not. The null hypothesis is all age group males are equal, while the alternative hypothesis is all age group males are not equal. 
The third hypothesis is the educational group means are equal or not, whereby the null hypothesis is all educational group means are equal, while the alternative hypothesis is not all educational group means are equal. The fourth hypothesis is does education level influence how many books they buy per month, whereby the null hypothesis is education level does influence how many books purchased per month, whereby the alternative hypothesis is education level does not influence how many books purchased per month. The fifth hypothesis is regarding develop the multiple regression for how much or how many books they buy per month, whereby the null hypothesis is all independent variable do not influence how many books purchased per month and the alternative hypothesis is as you can see here. This hypothesis will further explain by my teammates in the statistical inference analysis and the regression analysis. This is descriptive analytics that shows the type of books that customers usually buy. Using the data analysis tools, we pick the descriptive statistics option and put in the necessary cells for it to compute. From the descriptive statistics, we can see that on average, many respondents purchase self-help book based on the mean 4.08. The standard error is rather small with the value of 0.13. Usually, customer will purchase self-help book as previously mentioned based on its median of 4. However, most people will buy international fiction book based on the mode of 6. The standard deviation is 1.63 suggesting that people still would like to purchase other book genres. From that, we can see that the variance of the data is quite big, as high as 2.64. This indicates a negative courtesy as the value is less than 3, which is negative 0.76. The negative courtesy is flat on the distribution curve. The skewness of the data set shows a negative number. It is also showing a relative symmetry with the value of negative 0.53. Based on this table, we have concluded that people from Selangor recorded the highest amount of books that have been purchased with the total of 73 books for 1 to 3 books, 8 people for 4 to 6 books, 4 people for 7 to 10 books and 1 person for 10 books and above. The total for people purchasing the book in Selangor is up to 86 people. Next, the second state that recorded the highest amount of people purchasing the books is Perak with people bought 1 to 3 books is nearly 13 people. They also have about 5 people who bought books nearly 4 to 10 and above books. Furthermore, the other state which is Johor Kedah, Kelantan, Kuala Lumpur, Melaka, Negeri Sembilan, Pahang, Perlis, Pulau Pinang, Putrajaya, Sarawak, Sarawak, Selangor and Terengganu have about above 5 people recorded for purchasing books. I will carry on with the next point which is T-Test Analysis. First, we use T-Test to sample unequal variance for gender male and female survey on book purchasing. By using this hypothesis, we can see that the T statistic value is negative 10.03 which is negative lower tail. If the T statistic value is negative, the P value in the output is the P value for a lower tail test. The P value of 0 0.000 is less than the significant level of 0 0.05. Thus, we have enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis. Therefore, we can conclude that there is an insufficient evidence to support the claim that the number of male is the same as female. This shows the gender group is dominated by the female group as they are more likely to purchase books than the male group. Second, we use ANOVA single factor. From this hypothesis, we can see that the F test statistic is 634.98 and the F critical is 2.16. 
we reject the null hypothesis and conclude that there are significant differences in the mean of the group. The mean age of people who purchase the book is not the same among the seven groups. Next, for the p-value is less than the alpha, which is 0 0.006, we reject null hypothesis and there is enough evidence to support the alternative hypothesis. Referring to the figure, we can make a conclusion that the highest mean of age group is 23 to 25 years old, followed by 18 to 22 years old, while the smallest count of number are whole by age group of 41 to 50 years old and 51 and above years old. Lastly, for the educational, we also use the ANOVA single factor. From the educational data, we can see that the F test statistic is 44.64 and the F critical is 2.43. We reject the null hypothesis and can and conclude that the means of the group differ significantly. The average educational level of those who buy the book differ among the five groups. For the p-value, is less than the alpha, which is 0 .0, 0 0.001. We reject the null hypothesis and fail to reject the alternative hypothesis as they are insufficient evidence. From the result, we can conclude that the bachelor degree groups are more likely to purchase book compared to other educational group as they as the group counts are the highest follow up by diploma group next i will continue with the regression analysis in this part uh, consists of two questions the first one is does education level influence how many books they buy per month second question is develop the multiple regression for how many books they buy per month so the dependent variables for this project is how many books purchased per month. The independent variables are, consist of four factors. The first one is education level. Second is age, uh, gender and state. Uh, next is the example of data that uh, we are used uh, for regression analysis. And the last one is uh, in this project, uh, two regression involved, which is the first one is simple linear regression. The second one is multiple regression. As for question one, does education level influence how many books they buy per month? So the hypothesis is H0, education level does influence how many books purchased per month. For H1, education level does not influence how many books purchased per month. So as we can see the result over here, the R square is 0 0.00252, meaning that 2.52% uh, of the variation of how many books purchased per month is influenced by the education levels. As for the significance F, it shows that uh, it is more than uh, significance level, which is 0 0.05. So, meaning that it is insignificant. As for the coefficient of education level, uh, it less 0 0.03. Okay, but the p value uh, is more than uh, significance level, which is 0 0.5375. So, we can conclude that uh, they failed to reject the null hypothesis. So, this is the step uh, on how to generate uh, the, that, uh, the regression analysis for question 1. Step 1 is identify the hypothesis, dependent variable and also independent variables. In this case, uh, the dependent variable is how many book purchased per month and the independent variable is uh, education level. Step 2, generate the regression by using the data analysis function. Step 3, according to the result, the R square, F test, T test, coefficient and p-value are being identified. Step 4, based on the result, it shows that R square equals to 2.52% variation of purchase books per month influenced by the education level. For F test, it failed to reject the uh, null hypothesis as the level of significance more than 0 0.05. For the t-test, as the p-value of the coefficient more than 0 0.05, it is failed to reject the null hypothesis. And the last step, uh, step 5, yeah, for the conclusion, the education level does influence how many books purchased per month by individual.
For the second question uh, of regression analysis is develop the multiple regression for how much uh, or how many books they buy per month. So the hypothesis is H0, all independent variables does not influence how many books purchased per month. For H1, does, F, does age influence how many books purchased per month? H2, does gender influence how many books purchased per month? And H3, does state influence how many books purchased per month? So as uh, you can see the result over here, the R square is 0 0.00743. This means that 7.43% of the variation of how many books purchased per month is influenced by the independent variables. So, uh, but we also need to take, uh, take a look at the significance F. Uh, the significance F is more than 0.05 so it is insignificant and fail to reject the null hypothesis as for the coefficient uh, we can see that the age coefficient is negative 0 0.0202 uh, for the gender 0 0.1078 more than the significance level and for the state it is uh, less than significance level by 0 0.005 Five. But we also need to look at the p-value. So uh, as you can see over here, all uh, the independent uh, variable p-value is more than the significance level uh, by 0 0.587, 0 0.461 and 0 0.751. So we can conclude that and they, re they fail to reject the null hypothesis which is all independent variables does not influence how many books purchased per month. This is the step uh, on how to generate the regression analysis for question 2. Step 1, identify the hypothesis, dependent variables and independent variables. For this, this question, uh, the dependent variables uh, how many books purchased per month and the independent variables is age, gender and state. Step 2, generate the regression by using data analysis function. Step 3, according to the result, identify the R-square, F-test, T-test, confidence interval and also p-value. Step 4, based on the result, it shows that the R-square equals to 7.43% variation of purchase books per month influenced by the age, state and gender. For the F-test, uh, equals to fail to reject the uh, null hypothesis as the level of significance more than 0 0.05. For the t-test, as the p-value of the coefficient more than 0 0.05, so it is fail to reject the null hypothesis. And the last step is step 5. For the conclusion, all independent variables does not influence the dependent variable and the uh, null hypothesis is fail to reject. Now that we are at the end of our presentation, I will conclude our predictive sales analysis. With the data extracted from the analysis, MPH can make better and accurate planning in making sure the festival they will hold later this year will be the most successful in making revenue and generate sales. The company can use all the information discussed in order to make a positive improvement and improving the customer service based on the customer demographics. If MPH make use of this information in their operation, for sure it will make them meet their goal that they have set for the book festival. We hope this predictive sales analysis will help MPH in growing their business until they can stand together with other international book companies. That is all from us. Thank you.